Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tawny. And in today's video, I wanted to share with you all a review of the Unseen Sunscreen from Super Goop. I know it's the end of the summer, but it is still sunny out and I have been loving using this. And I've been on a little bit of a skincare kick the last few weeks. So if you're interested in hearing what I think about this sunscreen, then just keep watching. Okay, so first I guess I should introduce Super Goop. Super Goop is Gwyneth Paltrow's brand of skincare and I think she has a bunch of other lifestyle products as well, but she definitely focuses on skincare and clean beauty. I don't know that I completely agree with everything in the clean beauty movement, but I did see Dr. Dre, who is a dermatologist here on YouTube, talk about Kylie Jenner's skincare line and her sunscreen, which is very similar to this one. And it basically convinced me to go out and buy this one. They are essentially the same, except that this one is 40 minutes sweat and water resistant, which is a really nice bonus. But the reason why I was so interested in this is because it is called the Unseen Sunscreen. And the whole reason why this is so appealing to so many people is because it's almost like a gel formula, which is very rare for a sunscreen, at least here in the US. I've never seen a sunscreen like that. And even though I live in Florida, to be completely honest, I kind of avoid sunscreens on my face because they tend to be very greasy or white and just leave a weird film on the skin. So when I heard about this and saw this, I was extremely interested. I purchased this at my local Sephora. I think it was $34 for the 1.7 fluid ounces, which is this size. It is a bit pricey, but if you wanted to kind of test it out, I believe Nordstrom sells the 0.5 fluid ounces, which is about a third, a little less than a third of this size for about $17. Definitely not a good deal for your money, but if you don't want to dish out $34 and you just wanted to give it a try, that could be an option as well. So this sunscreen is a purely chemical sunscreen. If you have sensitivities to chemical sunscreens or you're looking for a mineral sunscreen in particular, this might not be the one for you. However, it's advertised as not being irritating, clean chemical sunscreen actives, reef safe, no synthetic fragrance, and it's vegan. And when I put this on my skin, it does not feel like a sunscreen at all. It doesn't sting, it doesn't burn. I put it right around my eyes and I don't get any of that burning sensation that I typically do with other chemical sunscreens. And I think the coolest thing is the consistency and the way that it looks. So the reason why it's chemical sunscreen is because you're not going to get a completely cast-free sunscreen using a mineral-based sunscreen. But this product, if you just take a look at it, it's very much like a silicone gel kind of feeling and look. And when you spread it out, it goes on completely seamlessly. It has a really nice matte velvety kind of finish. If you have oily skin, I think that you're really going to like this. I have oily acne prone skin and this feels so weightless and nice afterward. I can even put this on top of my regular moisturizer and not feel like my pores are being clogged or there's just too much grease on my face. I'm actually wearing the sunscreen right now over my moisturizer and underneath my makeup. And I think it looks wonderful with makeup on. And once again, I love the feeling of it. It's very weightless, it's very soft. It is a little bit mattifying. And of course it really is unseen. There is absolutely no cast, no color that's left off from this sunscreen. So if you have a darker skin tone and you really struggle with white cast and sunscreens, this could be a really great option for you as well. It is an SPF of 40, which is pretty good. Anything over 30 is what you wanna strive for, especially when it comes to the face. And it does say it's 40 minutes water resistant. I personally have not tested that out yet. I don't usually dunk my face or my head in the water, especially if I'm around people and I might have makeup on. So I haven't gone to test that out yet, but for the way that I use it, it seems to last for a really good amount of time. And of course I wear other protective clothing, but I do really love this product. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't make me irritated or super greasy. So I have never used a primer on my face, but I've heard that this consistency is very similar to something like the Smashbox Photo Finish primer or other primers with that silicone feel. If you do not like that silicone or dimethicone kind of feeling, then this might not be the right one for you. But if you like that or you don't mind that feeling, then I think that 
this could be a great option. Overall, I think that this sunscreen is amazing for the person who's looking for a great under the makeup sunscreen, something that has absolutely no white cast or greasy finish, and also people with oily or acne prone skin types. This sunscreen probably is not for the people who are super sensitive to chemical sunscreens or just prefer a mineral based sunscreen. And I also wouldn't say that this is going to stick on your skin very long if you are doing any water kind of sports or activities or gonna be profusely sweating, this might not be the one for you. But overall, I am really impressed with this. I have to be honest, this is one of the first sunscreens that I've actually enjoyed using and putting on. And I've been wearing sunscreen on my face much more often than I ever have before since getting this product. And I think in the end, that's what's really important is finding a way to make sunscreens fit into our lives and making sun protection a everyday priority. I will leave links down below where you can get this. I know you can get it at Nordstrom, Sephora, and the Supergoop website. So you have a few options there, but that's all that I have. This was just a short, quick review on a sunscreen that I've really been loving lately. And I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos like this one. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.